Chers amis, bienvenue à, à tous ici à Paris, à l'UNESCO, pour ce sujet majeur qui nous réunit, pour lequel, vous le savez, l'UNESCO est engagé depuis longtemps. C'est un moment pour prendre des engagements qui soient tournés vers l'action et pour faire vivre cette diplomatie de l'eau qui est une diplomatie de la paix. Je vous remercie et vous souhaite un, un excellent sommet. Merci beaucoup. If you look at statistics, you understand that groundwater is one of the largest part of fresh water available for mankind. So groundwater remains our last chance to save water for the future and even for ourselves today. Yeah. One thing I would start is make people realize how important groundwater is because we do not realize the importance of groundwater so far. So it's invisible and it's like It doesn't exist. So groundwater is a very complicated issue and it needs to be addressed very seriously. And we are, and the countries in the region are definitely making very important steps toward, you know, at the end of the day, we have to empower integrated and adaptive water resources management. A lot of people around the world depend on groundwater. For example, you should tell you one number, two billion people depend on groundwater for their daily needs, which is a lot. In some countries, depend almost 100% on groundwater for the drinking water supply. It's very important, but not only for humans, but also for nature. Cette eau qui transite par le sous-sol est extrêmement importante. La vie des écosystèmes qui sont dépendants de zones humides, de zones le long de, de cours d'eau. Donc, c'est vraiment une part importante du cycle de l'eau. We need to think more collectively about how much water we are using and do we really need that much water. In isolated villages, young girls have to carry water long distances from wells and they don't get a chance for education because they have to supply the family with water. And so we're hoping that the whole concept of what's needed in groundwater will change. I think there's a lot we can learn from, from looking backwards, not just forwards. You know, of course, it, it, it should uh, inform the way we think about the present and the future. The motivation behind this is the same motivation that is behind water science policy in general, which is to educate people about water and environmental issues and how this relates to everyone and the many stories that are behind the water issues and the people that are behind them. I think young people in general are much more attuned to the environment than they were in my generation. And so I find that young children are much quicker to point out The things that we're doing wrong. Il faut former les jeunes, il faut leur expliquer quels sont les enjeux liés à l'eau de manière générale et aux eaux souterraines. Il faut faire en sorte qu'ils soient prêts pour prendre en main le, le futur. I want to thank you for your commitment, your passion and your partnership. And I want to see you in New York yet next year with commitments that really inspire the world to scale up everything we can. Thank you.